Uh, hello, everybody. I'm the Bardic Knock. You can find me on the internet, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and YouTube as the Bardic Knock. Uh, I am the Game Master of today. We are going to be playing some more One Piece tabletop role-playing game. Uh, I'll give a recap later. Boom! Nick, go! Hi, everybody. I'm Nick, uh, playing Mercurius Thorak, the captain of these idiots. Uh, and I'm Nikai Schroeder on Twitter, and I am Strider Winters everywhere else. That's me. Shogun? Hi, and don't worry about it. Nice. Nice. We'll, I mean, we'll see that in a minute. Nice. I mean, the, the, okay. Nice. We have wanted posters, but whatever. Nice. <laughs> also, we skipped Dakota again. Yeah, don't fine. worry about it. It's tradition at this point. It's, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't break tradition. Next person, go. Well, hi, no. I guess. <laughs> Why does this happen every week? Because <laughs> we don't have an established order? Yes, we do. Uh, what? You go what first order? you skip Dakota. <laughs> I go last. <laughs> so, my name is Omis264. I play Jimmy the Skunk with healing kneecaps, though not entirely broken now. Well, we've, we've had time. Okay. They're fine. Yeah, we've been traveling for like a week. That's fast enough to repair kneecaps. I got my medical like, license now. I totally fixed your knees. Oh god, you put a squeaky ball in there, didn't you? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> no, he was just, right, this he was cartilage squeaky. is garbage. Well, Let's just use some rubber pads. Ball in the right one, in the left one, he stuck a whoopee cushion. <laughs> oh fuck. So I'm the man with 40 knees. Anyways. Yay. <laughs> Dakota, go. Oh, what the huh? <laughs> Sorry, sidetrack. Uh, I'm Zoran. I'm White Wolf pretty much anywhere. That's about it. Going back to this. Right. And then Ren. So. Radio Shack Man. Done. <laughs> no, you can't even find him at Radio Shack anymore. Cause oh, yeah. yeah. It's closed. It's, Fuck. It's, it's closed. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess. You can find me at Radio Shack in about two weeks, but only in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not telling you which one. Enjoy the scavenger hunt. All right. There's only like only, three. I'm pretty sure there's like only three. There's only in three left in the country, and he, and he narrowed it down to the one in Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't say it has to be in one that's still up and functional. But because they don't know how cell phones work, they're not on Google Maps. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. But, like, if you wanted to Such buy AM radio, <laughs> they, they got plenty of those. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um. Hi. Welcome to the Make Fun of Radio Shack stream. That's, yeah, hey, fuck no it. No one's making fun of Radio Shack. It's my home. Don't you <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I, I apologize. That is very rude and unpolite me. Alright, so, uh, recap time. What the fuck happened? Um, Something. I farted on a man. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you do that every time. <laughs> yeah. So, you, uh, we had so... the climactic encounter with Hotbard, which resulted in him being shot in the head with a cigar butt fired out of a miniature railgun, which then led to him being ricocheted from sea mine to sea mine to sea mine, which then he got scooped up by a giant bird and flown off somewhere. Um, yeah, that, that happened. I I don't know where those words came from and why they came in that order, but they they did, and. It, it it exists and happened. Um, what else happened? Uh, Hotbod Senior, uh, Vice Admiral Hotbod, uh, is currently en route to Lobo Isle, and you assume oh, to yeah. destroy it. And people were about to book it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were all booked. The entire island was booking it. Nobody's staying there. Mm. The uh, base is destroyed. The the city, or the town is terrible. The forest is like deforested. And the co the the surrounding places was filled ah, with mines. Shit. 
Yeah. I just realized how about Senior's gonna home. say we did that. Oh yep. yeah, obviously. Yep. Um, <laughs> at this point, am I allowed to jump in? Is my character allowed to jump in? Hmm. Sure. So, wherever we are. Um, so we're we're, we're going to do like some some little bits like before you immediately left and then we're going to do stuff like as you've left and we're going to uh, kind of be uh -huh. like all over the place because we have a brand new character. Uh, so, I'm assuming you're all kind of stood around in the ruined uh, remnant of Marine Base 273. Yes. Oh, I, I need to find something. Uh, I'm looking for a visual bend in motion. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't think Hot Bob would have one of those. Mm. But you can. Hey! That bomb way trying to push yourself. Hey! <laughs> You're gonna blow our eardrums off, Shogun. I'm assuming this is a character. So yes. where, are, where are we? We're in. We're at. We're in, in the rebel. It, yeah, yeah, you just, uh, you stood around Marine Base 273. I'm assuming you were looking for bits and stuff, like bits and pieces, and, you know, having a vague conversation. Like, okay, so we have how two Marine warships, and we have our one ship, which is barely floating. Uh, you know, we kind of cobble it together. How do we... What do we do? What's our movement? Where do we go? And then there's someone yelling from the, like, kind of rubble that was the prison section <laughs> of the fort. I'm going to look up. Just, hmm. Who? What? Do, do we see anything sticking out like an arm or a leg? Do we see an arm sticking out of rubble? Like, yeah. No, no, <laughs> just hollering from, from inside the rubble. Oh. It's like the one oh. remaining thing of, of, of building is is a cell. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say yeah. there's like one cell, untouched. Maybe no one but looked at it earlier. Like all over it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... Um, <laughs> Alright, for my own amusement, I want to say like... One wall is entirely missing from it. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's still the bars in front of it. Yeah, no, he's there, one hand on the bar, and the other one holding a tin cup. <laughs> hey! You. Uh, oh. What? What? Can I come out now? Uh. What? <laughs> I'm a, um. He just as lost as I what am, and I'm the one that got, I'm the here? one that has slight brain damage. Ah, uh, the big strong guy put me in here. For I what? Put you in there. Um, dumbass. Piracy. <laughs> what? Dude, it's like they didn't train us for this at the academy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come this? out now? Hold on. What? What kind of piracy? What 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 did you do that warranted him calling you pirate? Uh, so uh, it's a long story. <laughs> you got time? No. So anyway, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not have time. Short, shorten it up. Uh, I was offered to fish, and then I was on a ship, uh, and then we were under arrest. <laughs> so you see. were... So, so they, they, they slipped you He technically was fish. a pirate. My guess is that because the, but the, the pirate crew that had him seems to have given him a fish in order to get him on the pirate ship. And then the pirate... The, the whole crew was arrested. Where's the rest of the crew? Yeah. They were said you, you, something you, you, about being sent to a real prison. I see. So this is the weak uh, one. You think you, th you think it was the one or, that or the dumb one, the one that the, the most innocent one. No, you don't think. Yeah, I think it. Oh. Uh... No. Should we tell him? No, uh, don't tell him. <laughs> I'd can I come out you, now? Like, I'm hungry. I'd love, help, I'd love to help you, but like the, the I don't have the key. Uh, but can I come out now? Is I mean, that okay? I, think, I mean, I'd I probably would sure, open it, but I, I don't think he's going to like it. So then it's... with what looks like an immense amount of effort, I put my hands between the bars and push them out of the way. 
and then step through. And then as soon as I let go of the bars, go right back to where they were. Still look Data down analysis. Go look down at him. Then look at Cap. Uh, I'm gonna go with Devil Fruit. <laughs> he, he's like a third of my size. How is he strong what? enough to bend those bars? Can I? Can I go with you? I'm hungry. Wait, hold on. Can you uh, cook? You... No. Can you do anything? I can sail really good and tie good no. knots. That's we legitimately that. surprising. <laughs> that's, that's a word that's skill. What we, that's but... what we need, though. The fact that you are better at sailing <laughs> than I am is a problem. I need and to then I walk. I walk over. <laughs> I walk over to a chest where they keep all the prisoners' gear. I flip it open, reach in, and there's like, like all cool weapons and stuff from like whatever prisoners they've had and they've confiscated. I just reach in, pull out a dinky little rapier. All right, let's go. <laughs> And then I just like flick it uh, and some rubble lands and really like crushes the box. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, his mind is exploding. <laughs> um, Shogun, can, do you want to give us like a physical description of this character? Uh, so this person is a guy wearing um, like some raggedy, like sailor. Well, they used to be pants, but now they've like been torn so much. They're just shorts. Mm -hmm. Um, and is wearing human? the like, yeah, human, uh, wearing kind of like classical, like sailor pirate gear where it's just like a striped, like white and blue shirt. Um, they're wearing a bandana, uh, wrapped they're around their head. already wearing <laughs> marine colors. Um. <laughs> white and blue is marine colors. Uh, That's and... Like he was an undercover marine that, that turned into a pirate. And, and then just takes their sword and doesn't have a sheath, but just slips it between their pants and their belt. Just <laughs> puts it down there. Yeah, definitely a devil fruit. <laughs> first, first thing, I'm gonna we're gonna find you a sheath. Uh where are we going? <laughs> Good question. Wait, hold on. Huddle. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going on that ship? Stuff. I pointed the giant Are marine sure ship. Taking... Are you sure no. taking this guy with us is legal? I mean, we're we're getting new crew members. What's and point? even above legal, is it morally okay? <laughs> he wants to come with us. I never like a decent offer. Guy. He's just like, hey, can I come with you? Seems fine I guess to me. It's better than leaving him. I, yeah, yeah, I guess we if can't we leave, leave him, him, I mean, would you rather leave him be executed by everyone else who's uh, trying to show up on this island and probably assume he had something to do with it? And I guess also, he can also standard Marines ship. would come by and hear that he's arrested for piracy and immediately hang him. You make an excellent point. I suppose we don't really have a choice. So am I coming with you? Yep. Yeah. Sweet! You rush over and uh, hug uh, the fish person. Question, how tall are you? I'm like assuming standard human size, five, yep. six feet. Yeah, yep. so I just kind of reach down to like my waist and pat. It would pat feel pat. weird to touch him. It, it wouldn't be your waist, like, it'd be like at your knees. No, I'm 16, so half that would be There's eight. Your... So just slightly. Does your skull below bend that. with each tap? What? So no, just everything, both him and me, like just has a little bit more give than feels normal. Hmm. And also, you see that his gait is very bouncy. You... His his what is bouncy? His gait, his walk, like he oh. bounds around running, and Excellent. every time he does it, he like just has a literal skip in his step. Fantastic. Remind me later, I need to give you a physical exam. Okay. Prerequisite, prerequisite for being on the ship. <laughs> okay. Was it? <laughs> it kind of became one after he had to go through and fix both me and Jimmy. Trust data. Trust data. <laughs> data, yours is coming later. Uh... Did you fucking tear <laughs> off his level? And then for no reason, he draws his sword and just like swings at the at the air. 
<laughs> I uh, love chum. Just make a whoosh sound? Yep. Just because you can't? <laughs> And you all think that maybe that might not be a real sword, because it just goes <laughs> blah, 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 and swivels and whaps everywhere. Oh my god, it's like one of those little plastic swords you get as a kid when you visit like Disneyland, so you're like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yep. Cap. It uh, looks like he's fighting with a pool noodle. <laughs> exactly. Either he's going to get himself killed, or he's going to get one of us killed. Uh... Alright, where's we the ship? Recognize... Where are we going? Well, I mean, look, he can steer right. the ship. You, you, well, no, he's not steering the ship. He can, he can sail. <laughs> There's a difference. He can um, chart our path. You know, he can run the sails. That's what sailing is. There's a difference between <laughs> navigating, steering, and sailing. There's three different things there. Yeah, okay. I'm not a helmsman. I, I know how to I know how to set up everything. Oh well. And how to roll barrels on the right. ship deck. So, when you talk to the the people of the island, like where are they going? Along with and then <clears throat> like the marines that now work for me. Okay. So, let me just put you. Would be on this world map. Oh, we're on. Oh, we're on this map. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Roll twenty. That thing has to be. Yeah. It says you're already hey, look, on here. <laughs> hey, look, the pirates that haven't moved in like three months. Yeah. They haven't gone very far, have they? No. Um... They've had what? <laughs> one session? Two? Uh, they had like three sessions overall. Huh. So they Wait, skipped what? like four. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, my character, uh, you would see this about the way he moves on the ship. He has the feet, uh, sea legs, which means he cannot be unbalanced while on a boat. Okay. So, uh, obviously, you know, we can either do a bunch of roleplay and you can establish, all right, so the however many dozens up to hundred-ish, hundred, like two hundred, you know, civilians and fish people on the island, you know, you... Right. I want everyone to understand one thing, and that includes the people, the fishermen, and the, and the marines alike. Mm -hmm. Hot bod is corrupt. <laughs> Got it! Tell everyone. <laughs> like every single person, man, woman, child, everyone agrees, they nod and go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Um, you currently have, you've got your boat, you have two marine, uh, like, warships, which they can have, like, a maximum crew size of, like, 100. So you could easily fit everyone on these. You, well, say you sort everyone out, you get everyone on boats, and what island are you wanting to head to? I mean, obviously, I totally forgot to ask this ahead of time, so I've not got a map drawn out right. for the next well, specific the area. Well, so. we have to go... We have to, I believe we established last time that the plan was to basically confront Hotbot head on, but not immediately. Mm -hmm. We have to gather our own reputation and gather some more allies first. So I do believe the plan is to go. So we've, we've gone to Noara and the Lobo. If we go probably uh, to Xion, Zion, Tora, Mawa, Kai, or Kibula, and then after that, probably Okeo. Okay. I would say Shion, the one that starts with an X, oh, yeah? skirt over that way, then, I don't know, but just like, geographically, Maybe. start there and then work oh. your way back to Kibula. Yeah, true. Yeah, cause... So like, goes Shion, yeah. Mawa, Kai, Kibula? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, just kind of go around. Okay. Um, I mean, obviously you don't have to go to every island. Um, but you can if you want to. Yeah, you... <laughs> Like, Luffy and crew didn't go to every island in the East Blue. They, they went to, like, three. What's that Mawa, I wonder? Um, let's look at the South Blue Islands list and find out what's where. Mawa. Uh, it's a tropical jungle island with lots of interesting wildlife. There are two settlements of note, uh, Ryu Village on the southeastern shore and Naga Village on the southwestern shore. These two tribes don't seem to get along, but both seem to have forgotten why. Uh, on the northernmost point, there is a marine fort that has a small trading port. 
Um, there are rumors of unexplored ruins filled with treasure in the jungle that fills the vast majority of the island. I would say we definitely want to go to Kai. That place sounds fun. Uh, what's, what's it? Shion? Rumor to Shion. Oh, that's... Yeah, there's not... That's no help. There's no help on Sh uh, Shion or Zeon. Yeah, I, there are places where I didn't really have loads of like, I don't know, I'll think of something later. And then never did. Maybe just <laughs> go to Malakai. And then... Ooh, the Kai has place. a gladiatorial arena? I mean, Ooh. Kai will actually oh, yeah, be quite Kai interesting. Kai like the most fun to me. Not, Kai not will be quite fun. interesting because that is where the pirates went. And they kind of, like, they, the amount they played before we ended up having to put that show on, like, hiatus, is they've basically done, like, they basically finished the, like, finished the mission there, and then they were just going to do roleplay and then leave. So it'd be interesting to go there and I have to take into account everything the pirates have done. Cool. That that still sounds fun. Uh, mercenary work and uh, uh, gladiatorial arena sounds very fun. So there's that. There's, there's all kinds of places. Um, uh, the the two. What's what's the Mawa? Mawa. All in favor, say aye. Yay! Aye. Sure. <laughs> okay. As no one says aye. You. <laughs> I said aye. So obviously, uh, you have. At least from my description there. You have three possible points of entry here. Uh, you have Ryu, Village, Naga Village, or the Marine Port. Where do you want to Probably aim for? Probably not the Marine Port. Uh, let's not go to the Marine Port Ryu first. Let's go, let's go Ryu Village. Yep. Uh, the one that would be on the southeastern shore. I did say. On top of all the trouble are. that was caused here... I don't think us showing up with a dude who was arrested for piracy, if it were got around, would be a good idea either I, yet. On the way exactly. there, like, almost immediately after it is sure that we are separated from, like, the 200 people or whatever that was on the- that was- we were with, we're now back to ourselves. Oh, that's fine. Why are you sending those 200 plus people? Because you just kind of said, get on a boat. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, where are Somewhere we sending Somewhere that's them? not Lobo, like, really- they can go to any city they want to to to, to uh, fix their lives. Just but, sending them off. Go off you go. I was gonna say send them off to Ohio, where like the Ohio. head of the head military Ohio? base yeah. is around here. Yeah. Because then they can kind of be in there and disseminate and kind of uh, oh, spread our favor. I like we'll, it. We'll send them to Ohio. Okay. And I'm assuming that also goes for all the Marines. You. Like, the, yeah. those marines, they'll be spread out across the two boats to actually sail them. Actually, so, we need, if we anyone need asks, we there are orders need... from, special, from special ops. Uh, they aren't even know, need... allowed to know or... what group. And mm -hmm. the, they aren't to be in, input into hotbots, or rather, anyone's service. Okay, uh, cool. They're, Let's say we also need under orders. more guards for the prison island. Yeah, you could totally send some to a prison island to help that out. Yeah, uh, if someone wants to make a note of where you want to send these people, um... got it. So one group should take the people to Ohio, and the other group should go to Nowhere. Drop off. Well, the 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 people, like the villagers, are, shouldn't be going to Nowhere because remember that's a prison. No, no, yeah. no. I'm saying the people go to Ohio, and then the other Marines go to Nowhere. Uh, yeah, after they drop them off, they go to Nuwata because we don't trust the mercenary that runs things there, but we trust him a lot more than the mer than the Marines right now. In, as well, on Nuwata, there is the, the New Start Village, so there is, like, a normal settlement there as well. So, there would be a place for normal people to go and be there. They could teach them how to farm properly. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe just send everyone there, and they can hide out there for a while. And maybe after things blow over, they can leave. <laughs> no one is just. Is I would say send all of them. I would still say send some to Ohio. Just send like some of the like, you know, if, 
the farmers okay. and stuff over there with them to yeah. kind of help get that anybody island that set wants up. to we're not so, gonna send yeah. specific people we're gonna say anybody hey yeah we recommend you all go to okayo but, but anybody okay. that wants to that feels like they just want the simple life and maybe teach some idiots how to farm go to no water okay so for ease except the marines you don't get a choice yeah for ease marines, you're going to know let's say there are 50 well, marines 50 fish people and 100 just generic human settlers. So there you're 200 people. Uh, you you should have a party notes thing which you can all edit if you just want to decide where they, they all go. So you've got 50 marines, 50 fish people, and 100 villagers. Why I just say where you're sending them and what they're going to get on with and that'll be fun stuff I can interact with and whatnot and such and things so Merc, you said you had something that uh we you were gonna do on the way there yeah. um, so as soon as we were separated license. ah yeah. yes well, our, our, and also i'm gonna give you a fucking uniform <clears throat> oh yeah <laughs> you have a bunch of uniforms they are all from hot well, I, I, so. I, I, I got this hot, i got the, these we, ones from hot do we, we not just have our strip, own uniforms we could just strip the stuff off the back how many of you carry spare uniforms <laughs> Carry don't, but how many do we have just on the ship? I mean, I have a spare, but do we not have like fit. our own like special seagull marking? Um, I just take one of the hot bod ones and just spray paint <laughs> what looks vaguely like the symbol to me on the back of it. I mean, I suppose well, technically, technically, you would have um, Yama's uniform, which he never wore. This is true; he never wore it. Is he was a merc and refused to wear it. Uh, also, he was a I human. We but would have multiple uniforms, otherwise we're wearing the same clothes every day. It's anime. Yeah. How often do people change clothes? In one piece? Once a season? Sometimes? <laughs> yeah, they like, once <laughs> every story season, arc. We can't do that yet. Uh, no, I will put on I'll put on the mercenaries uh, stuff, which will be way too big for me, and I won't take off my old clothes. I will just wear the what now looks like a giant trench coat on top of it <laughs> in um obviously Both you're not stuff. you you aren't of you aren't of the ranks of like the big like justice coats um but you will have what's the generic it's kind of like just like a shirt really isn't it that bit... yeah so it's like a white shirt and there's like a marine cap you can have if you want that yeah. and that's basically it i don't wear it yeah, I don't like the hat. I like I mean, the I jacket. Just, I, I just wear the vest and shorts. Yeah, shorts. I wear I wear his his thing like a jacket just over my he other clothes. He technically only wears a jacket. He doesn't wear the shirt. Yeah. All right, cool. So from Lobo to Mawa, it's probably about you know, uh, let's say how many squares do I mark? And meanwhile, I'll be doing swords practice against a wall. Yeah. I, don't, right. I just thought about it. One, one person's uniform you probably would never want to touch would probably be Jimmy's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's why I didn't say anything. Okay. So it's probably going to take you about four days uh, travel to get from Lobo to Mawa, at least specifically to get to the, the side you want to get to. If you want to go to the other side, it takes you a little bit longer to navigate the island. So you've got four days of downtime. Uh, the first question I have, before I let you go nuts, Maggie. Maggie, who's just locked herself in her room, right? Yep. Is She's there, in like... an inventing mood, and is, uh, no. has several do not disturb, danger, the door is booby-trapped signs. You know what? For uh, our own amusement. So, for... for pure like the welcome to our ship um what what's your name mikey you mikey. can call me chum chum i'm gonna call you mike okay mike don't go in there do not even touch okay. the door right. got okay. it so I yeah at the we i just put <laughs> a, a blank screen on See, something we've point, not I'm just gonna call it at yeah, the, the, the sign says out. no, no, no oh, uh, smoking, open flame, or dead, dead mushy within 50 feet or something. <laughs> I've, I've got, I'm gonna walk past and be like, you should, you should listen to that. 
Last time I saw her in a bad mood, she tried to take my liver. Continues walking. Okay. So, I'm not using it very much, though. She could have it. So, what I've done here is I've just thrown us onto a... I tried. You didn't actually take it, did you? No. He's, Mikey, Mikey doesn't use his liver very much, is what he's saying. He's uh, naive as shit, dude. He doesn't understand shit. I kind of don't. I kind of don't need it because I just drink. Right. Very. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure that out later, Zor. All right. Uh, something I thought that might be a little bit fun because I just had the idea now. They're just thrown on a, a blank map screen. Who wants to vaguely doodle out the layout of the SS? Oh boy. <laughs> I, Not me. I got it. I was born for this. <laughs> oh no. Some tells me that you're not confident in your abilities. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> it's because I don't think we've ever actually given this shit any kind of shape or dimension. No. We're gonna grab Make it a cube. Here. No, I, I got it. Trust me. Make it up. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A cube with a single point. So, that should know where the front is. In, uh... In the meantime, uh, uh... That's a boat. That was actually so pretty good. In the shape of a I boat. made a boat! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a squiggle. That's a squiggle. Silly Rin. <laughs> Tries what? to make a boat, ends up making a squiggle. <laughs> okay. So, is, is that the deck? How? What does the layout of everything look like? Uh, so, like, I need, like, three of these. Can, can you... Okay, wait. If I... Okay, so can fine. I, like, Coffee. Oh, jeez. Paste. There we are. Can we, like... You know what? Uh, ooh. What in the oh, world? Oh, God. Uh, we have a 3D uh, two, boat. Two will be fine. Delete the last one. Well, why do we need two? For lower and upper deck. the top deck and the, car and the, and the lower oh, okay. deck. Okay. What the... Uh... That's right, so we, we kind of kind of oh. understand how the because the cargo holds the third one, so like we don't need to worry about that. It's yeah, just we, we third understand. level. It's where a big ass stored. open area mostly. All right, so this is yeah. the bilges. Right. and then this will be what the what what what's <laughs> doing? What the how? Bartik, Bartik, can you move that other one, the secondary one, to actually be like on the grid? Is it not on oh. the grid? It's not on the grid. It, it's like off. Let's move it down to the other one. Just move it um, down a bit. Oh, what are okay. you doing? What the hell is this? Alright, because it's on my grid. It's on mine, too. It's on mine. The second one? Yeah. Yeah, they're both on the grid. It's, but it's like forward one block. Yeah. On mine, it's like up a, a quarter of a, of a mark. That is actually also oh my. true. Bring it back down to, to be Breed. like... Rin, what are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> the line drawing, it's, they're all connected and it's annoying. <laughs> yeah. I is, keep is, seeing is that, the lines just appear. Is that better? I, that, I, I mean, you made, you made the grid bigger. Go yeah. Ahead. But never mind. Now, if I go over here, it should reset, right? It's gonna reset. <laughs> if I click here. What are you. What are you Oh, thank doing? God. Okay. He do, he, he's having trouble using the line tool because it's not a line tool. It's a, a polygon tool. So every time he like draws a line, it then completes it <laughs> into a shape. Oh, my. So you just double click on the second point. No. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Rin. That doesn't make I... any sense. <laughs> I did it, guys. I made the ocean. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you've been doing this whole fucking time? The ocean. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's all I wanted to do. That's it. Hey, hey oh. James, did you know you could do this? Oh, uh, it's off, and I can tell, and I don't like <laughs> Oh. I did not. <laughs> but... Would you mm. really deny me of my masterful work? I mean, look at that. It mm. belongs in a museum. The the thing is, right? Uh, you can also change the size of your pens as you draw bigger pieces. Or, Bardic could just change the background color to blue. 
I can do one better. Oh no, this is... This is the stream now. We're... Yep. Forget playing the game. We're, we, we're we should just do this in between sessions. This is... We should've, but we didn't. Okay. And then this is below deck. And this is... This is me Nick, vamping slightly. Nick, there's a circle tool. Yeah, I know. I didn't fucking make that. That wasn't me. Oh. There. What? Oh. Oh, oh. oh that's ah! very good, actually. Oh. Wait. Wait. If we... All my hard work unappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I see now. What do we... This is... This is top tier content. All I was really doing is I was like saying, hey, does someone want to quickly doodle out the boat so you can actually say where you are? <laughs> I was going to! And then you all got... Your mistake. What the... Alright, you know what? What have you done? What are you doing? I feel bad for anybody just lurking in the chat who's no one... They're just hearing you go, the fuck? What? So this is ATB. Oops. What are you doing? What are well, you that's doing? That's not Ren? me. That's not me. That's Shogun. Well, Shogun's I purple. Deleting my, oh, I'm deleting my ocean since it went unappreciated. Right. Someone has to delete the squiggle. There we go. I think the squiggle just lives there now. That's that's there yeah. forever. That's just a crack in the ocean. Who's throwing in cubes? Random cubes. That's not <laughs> a know. deck. But well, you can tell by the color, right? Yeah. Each of you has a designated color, which will be what I mean, is automatically change, being used. You can change the color. Yeah, you can just go. I just see these little squares everywhere. Who's just... making tiny squares? I mean, they're your color, Nick. <laughs> so you're responsible for them. There. So that means it's Shogun who's changed to be your color to fuck you up. Oh my god. This is... I was literally gonna say, Hey, you can map out where you are on the ship. Wouldn't that be fun? And and now... What have we done? <laughs> Let me ask you a <laughs> making tiny cubes! Shogun. <laughs> Let me ask no, I'm not. Question. I'm not doing All cubes. Right. Who drew the bunny? <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, that was me. not me. I wish, I wish I had that still. <laughs> oh I'm just going to delete this whole page. <laughs> I'm going to cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs> what is... What is that? So I'm trying to... Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> okay, so this was a terrible experiment and an all round failure, um, so it seems. And the problem is, now you know you can do this, I can't even put us on the world map because you'll just do it there as well. So I can't stop you from drawing. You you can take the permissions away over the settings. Yeah. But that's effort. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm here I'm playing Animal Crossing. Nobody can stop me. Okay. Right. Fuck this. Now we know what the ship is like. <laughs> okay, oh so <laughs> so this is your <laughs> ship now. This eldritch <laughs> geometric horror. Um, with, a with a bunny and random <laughs> words spouting everywhere. Yikes. <laughs> I believe right. we stole this ship from some elder god. Alright, let's... <laughs> let's... let's just... Let's I just... Uh, let's just un... let's just yeah, remove all of that. That is a good idea. Do we have a ship? No, I don't think we do. We don't need a ship. Let's just swim. We don't need a ship. We're just in the ocean now. Goodbye, devil fruit users. <laughs> Just fly. I don't. I, I run. All right. So never mind. That was. I levitate myself across. <laughs> that was a okay. terrible experiment on my part. 
Can I trust my players? Now, like God, no! <laughs> and I regret everything that just occurred. Um... Oh no! <laughs> how do I chain... Like, how do I control and say, no, you don't draw stuff? It's in the um... settings to the right, I believe. Like, the gear. And I'm looking Over at there, that. I, be I believe. Um... I mean, or I'm you can just say any, anyone who draws say, takes hey, damage. We're, we're... <laughs> yeah, I can't see how I'd do that. So... Fuck it. So, nor do I. I'm where not... were I... we? I lost where we were. Like, oh, what we were the hell were we doing? Alright, so... We're going to Bala. We, we had our fun, and now we're just gonna move on over. You've got four days travel. Yeah. What would you like to do on these four days? Maggie, we know, has locked herself in her room and is doing science. Uh, you have got Smithy on the crew now, who is a wonderful navigator and can navigate you wherever you need to go. Fantastic. And obviously you've got Frankie, who's just there. And uh, Chum immediately acts like a like a like a mother who just walked in on a dirty room and immediately starts fixing everything. I, I have also just realized no one has asked Chum his fucking name. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that happened. I did. Ch it, uh, yeah, Merc did, but Chum doesn't care. He he's just going around, he's going, oh, what? That's the wrong nut for over there. No, this needs to go over here. It just starts like changing everything about like the sails and everything. They're just fixing everything. Minor details. Everything. Data's training. Okay. okay. As usual. As oh, usual. You, you just tied the rope from the sail to this bit of railing. That's yeah. <laughs> not where that goes. What? <laughs> <laughs> this needs to be secure, right? What's more secure than the rail? Uh, that thing what? over there. You see that stick? That sturdy, reinforced thing that has metal wrapped around it? That's where it goes. It doesn't look that sturdy. I will fix Pull it. Pull on it. Pull on it. And he does, and he just like stretches it and undoes See, the knot. <laughs> oh no, 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 I meant the rope. He like undoes the rope that like just like tugs on it and the knot undoes. Okay. Uh no, but he so he he sets stuff up and then seeks out uh the captain, who he doesn't know is the captain. Um, just the fish person. Uh, yes. Says, you said you were going to do something, but I forgot what it was. That's Here's cool. a uniform. Okay. You're part of us now. You I'm pretty sure that wasn't us. it, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um. I've only Why seen terrifying fish people, so <laughs> all I imagine is, oh yeah! <laughs> I hand him just a, a plank of, or a, a metal bar. Ben, Thank ben you! Goes. Oh. Okay. And I bend it around and put end, it end to end. And then let go of one side and it just goes whoo, off into the ocean. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go boom! Oh. <laughs> imagine, I just imagine you walk like you're holding a deck string and you just release your hands and it just flies. Yeah. Uh, right. I have to imagine I'm walking Sorry. past my deck and it just flies in front of my face. Just, what <laughs> the fuck? I, I couldn't. Bend. Sorry. I'll go get it and I jump <laughs> off the ship. No! Catch, catch him before he jumps. <laughs> catch him! Catch, I grab him by his legs as he's hanging over the edge. Just Can I try to avoid being idea. grabbed? Um. Like, uh, if, if people want to do opposed roles, uh, I leave that in your hands. I I, I don't enforce them. So if uh, I, I, if you want to do an uh, opposed role, you can. If you like want to say, say I'd rather just try and I'd rather just do the thing, then I think we can all do it. Yeah, you can do the thing. Um, I, I I would rather just do the thing because this is this is what he wants to do. Okay. Uh, all right. Just, just let him do the thing. <laughs> all right. So he leaps off. And then runs on the water. What? Wait. What? What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> one around, <laughs> runs back, and jumps back on the ship. How? What? <laughs> How <laughs> is the water? Oh my god. What is happening? Uh, so <laughs> Here! So, I just lost at least 10 rings they're gone now. So, uh, what Shogun Data just explained. did, which we're all mystified by, is the uh, finesse style of swordsmen. Uh, they have an ability that lets them run on water, uh, like Brook <laughs> in wow. the manga. You can just do that! Yeah. I mean, it's very limited, like they only have a very it small amount of space and they can't stop. Yeah, if I stop moving, I die. <laughs> but, yeah! I thought you, okay. like, bent the water to be like... <laughs> I thought yeah. you were bending it and just walk on water. No, nope. yeah, I guess not. Um, what about this? I hand him a plank of wood. Bend that. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it while it's still bent. Yeah, it stays it stays bent as long as you like keep pressure on it. It wants to unbend, but as long as you keep pressure on it, you can keep it bent. Yeah. Um alright, so what? you know the, the thing <laughs> So Shogun, the thing we established before, right? About like uh -huh. well before stream, you know, because we haven't actually drawn up your devil fruit free mm -hmm. feet thing yet. <laughs> um there is a time limit to these things, and it is literally how long a person can hold said thing. Yeah. So, it go... The notion we have that we're gonna figure out and see if that works is you can hold one of these bent items for a number of rounds equal to your strength modifier. Wouldn't so, it be easier, though, for, like, little, just, like, tiny things? Like, that specifically was for, like, terrain modification. I, I, whereas I, this is, like, just a little stick. I do kind of like the idea that it's kind of, like, all things have that. So, because otherwise, you know, you could bend... Okay. You know, you could bend something and someone keeps it in their pocket forever. So the idea that all of these things have an yeah. eventual time limit. You know, a bunch of knives, put it in a can, and then just... Hey, you want some peanut butter? So, I do like the idea that they all have, like, a time limit, essentially. Um, I mean, I suppose okay. we could set, like, a generic time limit, so, like... So something small, you know, like a knife, like... whatever. We'll just give, like, an actual amount of time, but anything which is being held, that will go uh -huh. until you... So. Yeah. But yeah, so I just here. <laughs> yeah, and he just he just has it for a while, and it's confused as shit. And he actually says out loud, "Data." <laughs> what? Mirror now. Okay. He flips back on. Alright, cool. And then walks and start walking back. away. So. Take this. Just, it's a coiled it. piece of wood. David takes it, alright? And you'd feel like the pressure of it wanting to uh, like unbend. He uh, did that. Yeah. Devil fruit. Fucking... You know, I keep forgetting those things exist. <laughs> and so then you would see that as he walks around, the reason he walks the way he does is because literally every single step <laughs> It makes a slight depression in the floor. That is one weird devil fruit, though. <laughs> uh, oh, Smith yeah. Sm tornado. <laughs> Smithy is going to be sat there on deck. Smithy now has a pipe because I think that'll be a interesting character trait. He's the old marine. He's the yeah. old man trope. Yeah. So giant twirled up mustache, uh, welder's mask up, pipe go. What do you think happened? He like grabbed someone's. That boy ain't right. <laughs> Shake his hand, Smithy. It looks like they all turn back to normal. Well. But you would see him like after having run on the water, he's like doing stretches. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, Smithy holds out his hand uh, and then, like, puts it like that and goes, Bend my finger. And he grabs it and bends it forward, just <laughs> like the way the finger's supposed to go. <laughs> oh, the. Oh. 
Wait, wait, wait. Do your thing. I'm curious how this works. And he puts his hand flat on ah! his hand and just bends it backwards. And it's like uncomfortable, but not painful. Oh, oh this. Mm. Nope. 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 Put nope. Back. <laughs> nope. 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 So maybe he just shakes his head and saying nope <laughs> and just starts walking away. Back nope. home, I used to clean chimneys. Nope. What? What did what'd you do? Just move yourself into the chimney wrapped in a brush? No, no I I'm opened I'm up the chimney. He just... I'm gonna go with he bent the chimney over and then just dumped it out. And, and on that one, Zorg's yeah. gonna walk away like, nope. <laughs> no, not, not gonna try to figure this out. It still hurts. I want to test still the hurts. limits on this, but we'll, we'll we'll deal with this later. Wait. Come one time, back. I tossed Go. myself from one ship to another ship by pulling on the top of the mast. Oh. Hold up, Zora comes running back. That's cool. <laughs> I gotta ask. Well, I missed, oh. but I skipped <laughs> and then landed on the ship. Fantastic. Freaky. If Ah, uh, uh, yes! Sorry, walks away. This man can make, it, make anything a catapult. Make use of that. You got it, Captain. Like this! And I draw my sword again, and put Boy. like a pebble on the end of it. Nyeh! <laughs> 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 uh, Frankie... Frankie stands there, you know, being a long arm, and like, just kind of scratches his head, and goes like... Huh. Wait, I, got an idea. I flip my sword and stab it into the ground and step on the bottom of it and grab the middle of the of the blade and pull that back. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> you just turn your sword into a bow? <laughs> well, there's no string, but I stick a rock like on it and use it as a slingshot and fire it off into the ocean. Wait, oh, okay, no, I imagine this yeah. entirely different. For some reason, like, the way you I described it... Watch himself. Yeah, I thought what you did oh. is you... Put the sword in and then kind of like stepped in the middle of it and you were gonna make it fire you. I couldn't do that as well. Idea. Idea. So we go give you some fishing line and a hook. Uh, yeah, some Oh, are we getting fish? I like fish. <laughs> in what context? Just give me a fishing line and a hook. Go. Seriously. Fish? Trust me. You yeah. have okay, an idea. Oh, you already have it. We have fishing. We have fishing gear on deck. Just in uh, that barrel, right. right there, as always. Grabs, gra gra uh, grabs. I guess the pole. Ha hands it to Chum. Thank you. Fling this hook as far out as you can. Okay. And I whip it back. It, it just goes <laughs> all the way back. Dips into the water <laughs> on the other side of the ship, and then flicks forward. <laughs> um. Do you want to roll something? See how far you can. Get it? Uh, nah, it's not super impressive. He's not very strong. It just looks cool. He's like, you'd probably do it better, though. Here. And I I hold on to just above the handle and offer the handle to Zorin. Okay. Now you do it. And so I hold on to it, keeping it bendy, but use his much greater strength <laughs> so that he can cast it. I'm just gonna do a straight because I want to see how far I can throw this. Okay, so 13. Uh, we'll say, you know, because it doubles from most things. So that's 26, 26 feet. You can cast your line out. Just as far out, just throws the hook. And so the line would stretch, fall in the water, and then pull back a ways. <laughs> just like. <laughs> I think we found someone who could help with our fishing. Oh, yeah? I do so sword fishing. I, uh, 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 right. So we and then I jump off the ship course. again. And just run around no. stabbing at the water. <laughs> 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 and then hop back on. I didn't get any. <laughs> oh my god. I swear you're gonna give us a heart attack one of these times so we're gonna think everything's gonna be fine and we're gonna look over the edge of the boat and you're gonna be sinking. Data's like, I'm gonna go back to training. Paramecias are weird. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> a pair of what? You ate, a, you ate a funky looking fruit sometime, didn't you? I've ate many funky fruits. But one that was like way worse than the other. You eat one that tasted springy? Bouncy? I don't know. What, what, what would this taste like? I don't remember. D Yo, other um, skunk skunk and cyclone cyclone. Did y'all's oh, taste? What did y'all's taste like? I'd rather not talk about it. Mine <laughs> tasted like the Dorian it was formed from, but somehow ten times as worst. So yours tasted literally like skunk? Yes. Yikes. Hmm. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Ooh. It was worth it for the power, yeah. is what I have thought. Um, what the heck does yours taste like? Wind? It tastes like nothing, you just eat it and it disappears, and you're like, hmm, well, that what? sucks. I don't think that those fruits are flavored to, to match the What did yours the taste like, then? I don't... It just tasted bad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did everyone get one that tasted bad? They was... all taste bad. I just ate fruit. <laughs> It's amazing that he didn't eat a second devil fruit and die. My, my <laughs> thoughts are <laughs> That is honestly impressive. All right. So, in... I just went to a buffet. <laughs> what? That's oh, even no. worse than in a miracle. Where was this buffet? They need to be regulated. <laughs> so, I don't remember. It was on a boat. Ah, oh, that'll do it. Rotten? They Alright, <laughs> <laughs> so just to establish in One Piece law, devil fruits all taste disgusting and rotten and horrible and just the worst thing you could ever possibly eat. Yep. But, oh, they uh, do. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. Because yeah, I remember yeah. Luffy eating his and I was. It, he never made mention of its taste. They just flipped out of the fact that he ate a devil fruit. Well, yeah, they had him stick his tongue out like egg, but... No, I just ate fruit and then, like, covered up with some hot sauce. Uh. <laughs> Why would you put hot sauce on fruit? I don't know. No, I put, it on, I put it on the fish I had afterward. I'm the skunk man, and yet I'm disgusted. Now, hold on. Hot sauce on fruit might be good when you get it. I mean, yeah. It's good on mango. Yes, it is. I can is. believe that. Mango Nuts! Chamoy! Sorry. But I don't remember... This. I don't really remember not having it either. Do you I remember, remember when the, your bendy powers started happening? No. Do you remember eating... I've always been allergic to water. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, never mind. <laughs> Not even gonna ask what I was gonna ask before. Going back to training. Genius. <laughs> so many ways. Okay. So. Anyway, we doing some fishing? Um. On your yes. four days of travel, I know a few of you want to do some revamps to character stuff. Uh, Zor, I know you wanted to switch class from swordsman to warrior. Yeah. How do you imagine that works in universe? Like, what special training, what, what realization does Zor have to go, huh, maybe I should focus on this instead of just my swordsman's. One, the intriguing fact of my head being knocked around like a bowling ball. <laughs> and see exactly. Jimmy, see Jimmy get his legs literally snapped. I'm just like, huh. I want to so do that. So I started just basically trading. <sighs> Don't mind the fact that there's probably a couple gashes in one of the masks now. <clears throat> okay. And are you... You're fixing it. Are you sticking with using your your regular sword? 
Yes, I'm still sticking with using my same swords. Okay. Uh, obviously, yeah, just as extras. Yeah. Basically. Obviously, as a warrior, you also get access to shields. Are you going to make use of the the giant pig shield you you locked up from? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually on that note. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Cap and be like, "Hey, can I can I borrow that for a second? Sure. I'm changing the wall. <laughs> Come on. That was his name. That's his name. I forgot. Come on. Yeah. So I'm gonna basically be doing the training with shield, and then specifically that cleaver. So you're you're just becoming Gamon now. <laughs> Well, I, I like the cleaver thing, the fire damage, but it's also like it just it seemed fitting for the training. Yeah. yeah. It seems to be though that you're using that you're just becoming Hamon though because you're, you're missing using his sword and shield. Yeah. You're just I'm missing... not gonna keep this shield. It it's class. practice. <laughs> the shield, as far as I knew, had nothing special other than it just had a giant pig face on it. I don't want to carry it around a shield with a pig face. <laughs> okay. So that you just. <laughs> Like him. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't like bacon. Like bacon it, it, the spell wore off. After you licked it. <laughs> yeah. It didn't taste like it anymore. I just love the image. Uh, you know, because what you you were keeping all these in like the the meeting room, right? I just love the image of like everyone comes in and there's just Zola licking the shield mounted on the wall and you go. Is it a bacon? <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Okay. So that's what one person was doing. Rin, you wanted to retrain your charisma, or your wisdom into charisma? Yeah. How does that work? I could be standing in front of a mirror just talking. <laughs> just, <laughs> you're just going to practice being likable in, in the mirror just be like how was no, your likeable. day he, he's not gonna practice being like let's, let's make he's this good. completely you know he's going to instead of uh, all the time that he was devoting to uh, to being aware of his surroundings he was like screw that after after looking at how easy it was to just like change people's minds mm -hmm. just like I could probably do this all the time. <laughs> so he's, he will instead look for those tiny little, those tiny little things that he can say or drop into conversation to make people more likely to do what he says. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, like I can imagine we pass, we pass by, and we just hear that in the mirror and all that. We're just like. This is why we don't go in each other's rooms, or you just no. I just feet. walk past. Just walk past and hear that. Just go, what? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Pokes his head out. Uh, just as practice. Hey, uh, Zor. Yeah. Why is it still in the Zor's all with like the guinea pig? Um. Why am I the guinea pig? I think you could do me a favor and uh. Take over for my lookout duty today. Got a busy trading. Why don't you go ask Skunky? He ain't moving very much. Uh, all right, but hear me out on this one. Uh, it would give you time to train your eyes. You know, you, you get me? You picking up what I'm putting down? Oh my <laughs> God! <Wow>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> sure. I'm not even going to try to oppose that. I don't even Casually think I can rolls oppose that. A 24. I don't even think I can oppose that. As a note, that is a 15 on the die, plus uh, 2, plus 6, plus 1. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that, that got it. Um, I just yeah, sure. want to state I'll, I'll, real I'll quick, mm -hmm. what Thank I'm currently you. doing is staying in my room and I'm working on uh, more containers to, to take with me into battle that carries oil, gunpowder, my personal stink mix, 
ocean wardle. Just lots of shit. <laughs> That's what I'm working on in my room. Okay. In my cabin. The other thing that I need to do. Yeah. Is, uh, I want to put. I want to take uh, the the little the little sea stone part. Yeah. That I got and put it in my uh, my shoes. Okay. On the bottom of my shoes. Okay. So you've basically got like. You, as I said, it's literally the bottom of a chess piece, so you could maybe put it in one shoe. Ah, true, true. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll put it in my right shoe. Alright, cool. Um, Merc, you want to get your medical license, right? Yeah, which I did roll for last time. I think you got it, didn't you? Yeah, right. I actually got it just enough. I rolled a 3, which gave me a 15. Ridiculously, you have so, a plus 12. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... In universe, how do you imagine Merc did this? Did, did you just, like, answer a... Did you, like, pull a clipping out of a newspaper and be like, Get your medical license! <laughs> and you just sent a stranger... <laughs> just answer these few questions! <laughs> Probably. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, unless, like, we want to do it in Mala. So I say that perhaps there's a testing center there. Uh, here, here we go. Hold on. New meta. Hear me out. In between Lobo and Mala, there's a small, uh, fishman colony underwater. <laughs> specializes in medicine. Well, I just have a quick side quest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, I'll, be right. I'll be right. I'll be right back, doctor. guys. Hops just. <laughs> Dies overboard. Fish people doctors just hanging out underwater. <laughs> <laughs> they all just like, yeah, we could go and help people, but instead we made a university. <laughs> <laughs> underwater. <laughs> it's a fishbit exclusive university. I mean, how how do you want me to do this? Because like the book wants me to go to like the big city and and fucking repeal this whole shit. Um. But I, I am... also could just, like, find a fucking piece of paper that says input name here and poof, medical license. Yeah. I am happy with whatever choice, because, like, if you want to, like, go to, like, the big city, like, obviously, Mawa, there is uh, a big marine port that also has a trading port. So it's not just a marine base, like a, a Lobo. It's a marine base and a village attached to it. So there would be a training center there. But then you'd have to go and interact with it. And I don't know if you're like super into wanting to go and do more marine interactions as of right. Preferably not. If I could do civilian, that'd be great. Um the two villagers on Mar, they are super advanced. Like they're I'm not gonna say they're like, ooh, they're like tribal, but you know, they're they're very small town relaxed. Farmers, fishermen, type vibes. So if you want it, like, right now, then yeah, your answer would be probably answer to an ad in a paper. Sure, that works. I mean, Merc doesn't care. It, hey. He'll do the thing, but he's not going to do it, like, what people would consider legitly. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you do it, it matters that you got it done. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Data will still have a problem with it, I'm sure, but eh, who cares. Answer Data. Look, it's a very... Alright, how about this? It's a uh, government-issued remote distance, like, like distance learning qualification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's official. You just have to pay them and take part in classes that are done via mail. We'll say I've been doing those. And it's a four day long course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, that's one day more than it takes to then. I don't remember the fucking name of the school in I Lo Love You, Colonel Sanders. Oh, 
shit, that's right. Academy of School something or other? Oh, oh no, no. No. My head hurts just from hearing that. It was like Academy of Learning Culinary School or something. University of Culinary School Academy of Learning. You just went and looked it up, didn't you? No. Uh, it's just... probably not right. That one sounds right. So, yeah, it's a four-day course. <laughs> you, you, so, by the time you arrive at Mauer, you will have your degree. Or license, or whatever the hell it is. It's just a license, and a license is very different to a degree. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say a license is more important than a degree. <laughs> Uh, um, it's fine. I just figured out the reason why Chum likes fish. Why? Because it's easier to chew. Uh -huh. Because the bend, steak would it, just bend in his mouth, and, he, it would and his teeth. teeth bend. Oh God. Oh. He 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 has trouble eating like red meat. What's that? That's why he likes oh, fish. <laughs> Like, or probably also likes soft foods, things like applesauce and pudding. And vegetables. And a lot of fruit. soup. <laughs> vegetables and fruit aren't. I mean, They're some are. Harder than meat. Well, uh, it's some. But they don't have the, like, already pliableness of meat. They, they which mush is the main easier. Difficulty. Yeah. Okay. So, that's what Merc is going to be doing over four days. Uh, getting his medical degree. Data is practicing how to convince people to do stuff. Zor is learning a more defensive style of fighting. Jimmy is building containers and just essentially creating bandoliers filled of stuff. Geneva Convention violations. <laughs> yeah. We'll go with that. Pretty much. And Chum is just on a new boat going... I yep. like this. Fixing stuff and eating food. All right. And that will pretty much get us to our halfway point for a quick break. So we'll take a quick five minute break and we'll arrive back and we will start adventures in Mawa. Unless there's more Yay. role play downtime stuff people want to do instead. It's fine, but we have, <laughs> we're at the half, we're at the halfway point and when we come back we can actually do stuff instead of all catching up. Alright, cool. I'm going to throw us on over, and we'll be back real soon. Alright, we are <laughs> back! Uh, you've had four days of traveling. Uh, it's pretty uneventful. You know, you had, you did stuff and things on the way. And as you were, you know, you, you're a couple of hours away from the village you were going to arrive at. Uh, the southeastern side, which is Rio Village. Uh, same thing, as always happens, you, know, you hold a meeting you know, in the uh, conference room or the whatever we're going to call it. Cranky rolls out a map of the island, which does not exist because I haven't made one yet, but I will for next time. I can tell you what it looks like, because um, it's a pretty simplistic layout. Basically, if you look at the island itself, it's like this weird semi, like almost slightly askewed circular shape. Uh, on the southeastern side, there's a village. On the southwestern side, there's a village. There's like a connecting road, and there's two roads from them that kind of lead up into the jungle, and then there's jungle throughout the vast majority of it. And then at the north, there is like a large uh, town, like marine port, village, base area. That's basically it. There's not loads going on. Uh, it makes for a very good trading port because it's obviously a jungle, so they have... Now, there's lots of animals which are good for trade. There's lots of fruit and vegetables which are good for trade, and obviously fishing. Um, what we are also going to say is the the two villages, uh, Rio Village and Naga Village, they're also renowned for having uh, very good craftspeople. Uh, Rio Village is particularly good at crafting firearms. Uh, they seem to be very good with anything to do with fire. They like fire. Uh, so explosives and 
guns and ammunition. Like, that is their gem. I imagine Maggie is already off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maggie jumped off, like, two days ago. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm walking. No, we're, we're just all sitting here like, has anyone heard from Maggie in a while? We go downstairs and her door's just standing oh. wide open. <laughs> and uh, Naga Village, I'm going to say they are very good at uh, rope. You know, so, like, rope and bindings and manacles, like, anything that can be used to tie or to constrain things. Like, they're good at that. <laughs> that's that's their jam. Uh, what Quite you, a niche. Cook, are we? What you do know is that the main reason there is a marine base here uh, that acts as a trading port, one, to get these high quality goods to trade out to the rest of the world, and two, to stop these two villagers going into full-on war against one another and wiping each other off of the face of the planet. They hate each other. Like, fundamentally, ancient, long, blood feud, despise it, they can't even look or talk to each other, They, if they see each other, it's a fight to the death. That's that. So, kill on sight, attitude on both sides. Yeah. They're dwarves. <laughs> they have their grudge book, but the but the page that says why they're in the grudge book is missing. Yeah. Uh. Well, no, the page is there. It literally just says Naga or real. Just That's all it dudes. says. It, nope. That's a good enough reason for them. They're from that village across town, uh, across the island. Hate them. Can't stand them. Uh, uh, so Chum is looking down at the map, not really understanding much of what's on there, and uh, just eating a uh, lemon like an apple. Yes. James isn't here, but James would be saying something about that, because he does that. Why? <laughs> Wait, is he a navigator? James? I have, I have a bottle of lime juice in my fridge. Your, your navigator is Smithy. Yeah. Who's stood there they're just and, yeah. big mustache. He's, good. he's our nav. Uh, Frankie's our, our ship, right? Yeah. I'm Doctor. You, you got you three <laughs> are all whatever because your career isn't a career because it's marines and pirates. Yeah, just generic. What is what is Jimmy's career? Scientist. Right. I love how everyone just got up and walked off. <laughs> yep, yep. Leave me here alone to run the. This this is gonna go so well. Okay. It was like, well, you are the captain. Fuck. So, obviously, your boss was laid in to go to Rio Village. Out of all the others. Don't do it. Is that where you are determined to to go to? Check out people with. Explosives and firearms and. Oh. Uh, well, you're more interested in in rope. I forget where which one was which. Wait, I'm on. sorry. Uh, Ryu, fire. Let's... Naga, rope. Let's go to the rope place. And my reasoning is this: if they've been at war for. <laughs> they have to have some reason that the people who made rope have not died against yeah, the people who made guns. Yeah, I want to what's up with this rope? <laughs> like, what's... what's so special about this rope? Right. How well, the... it's bindings in general. So, you know, trappings, bindings, manacles, anything that can be used to stop someone else from moving. Unless they've made uh, bulletproof cloth, like wrappings that they can put around themselves, they have some special secret yeah. that we need to. I'm not they sure how good don't, on a bullet. Don't drink it right out the bottle. Well, you know, you like it's like traps monster. as well. So, you know, they're they're really good at laying out traps and um, you know creating contraptions to like fire and capture people from a distance. It's very like intricate, over the top stuff. Really. Well, let's see it. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go around and you're gonna go to Naga Village. Um, as you, yeah, you, you sail around, uh, you can see the island. It's basically just a big jungle. Like, there's almost no shoreline. It's just jungle. Like, you can see the edge and it literally, like, 
is raised up, there's like sheer cliff faces. Um, not like super high up, maybe like 20 foot, it's not like that elevated, but like if you docked up anywhere not these villages, you'd have to climb up a cliff and you would just be in jungle. That would be okay. I can get everyone up there. Nothing wrong with climbing a wall. Don't have to climb. What? Explain, Mikey. <laughs> I just need some help. Some someone strong to help me. Okay. Data helper. On it. So I will grab the top of the mast. And on. bend it down to the deck. <laughs> I see where this is going. You're gonna slam into that cliff. No, no, no. You go above it and land on top of it. Ah, don't worry. I, I've got pretty see, good. See, look. We send we send the windy person first so he can catch people if things go wrong. So now you aren't docking at any village. You just yeah. You just. Showing up somewhere on the island. Perfect. Yeah. Let's do it. I thought we were going to Ryu. I thought we were. Or, or, the, I, I said we're going to Ryu, and then it changed to wherever the rope is made, which I believe is Naga, and now we're just going into some random cliff? Yeah, you're just yeah. jumping into the middle of the jungle. I'm not saying we should, I'm just saying we can. <laughs> Good. Because <laughs> think about it, if we land in Naga, then the other port will know. And then any communications would likely fall apart because we talk to people in Naga. Are we immediately splitting the fucking party? No. Bardic, what that are we, I mean, we, that's what we're like the masters of. <laughs> We've done it every fucking session. Also, it's But no, we, we don't have to. We just, if we dock a ship at one place or another, it will show favor. If we walk in there, it's less likely to be noticed. Okay. So yeah, if we if we just like So it doesn't matter I'm which draw, like I'm gonna draw on the map. Yeah, just put a little marker so, like, where there, you there's a there's a village here, there's a village here ish. If we come in here and split yeah. up, go th some go this way, some go that way, and we can get sides of the story without people assuming, ah, you went to the other place first. You're not to be trusted. Okay, okay. yeah. You can, you can totally do that. All right. So you're going to just dock the boat, you know, anchor. Uh, who, are you leaving both Smithy and Frankie on boat? Uh, sure. Yep. Do either of them want to come? Uh, they're fine. They'll come if you want them to. If not, also, they'll chill. Also... Maggie is already at the gun making place. She jumped off the ship and just walked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, I don't want to play her or anything or have her actually impact anything, but just like, she would be there. All right, so how do you want to, do you want to roll stuff or do you just want to comically describe catapulting everybody up one at a time? Or do you get everyone on the mast at once and go, uh, I don't know, first we, we launch data, we launch data first because he can self-correct. It'll help me judge, like, the weight of people and how far we need to pull it back. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if things go wrong, he can try and catch people with wind or something. That's fair. I cannot do that. <laughs> that is not an ability I have yet. And then I'll I let go, you. and he goes flying. <laughs> <laughs> goes He's through. like, I can't do that. Okay, go! <laughs> 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 All right, so... We can either roll things, or we can just say you do it for fun. That, that would be fun. To just launch them up. Yeah, I don't so... want to roll for mine, because... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to roll for it? Uh... You're not jumping. <laughs> uh... Tumbles to land? Oh yeah, that's probably... I'm talking, like, to make sure I don't go flying directly into the cliff. Um... <laughs> Okay, so technically this is having to like aim an attack as such. So whoever is firing the catapult, the, the, the mast, the, the bendable mast, 
Uh, roll me a ranged attack roll, basically. And I actually won't do that. I... I'm just making it bendy and, like, pulling a little bit, but, like, someone else has to launch it. Who wants to launch it? Ooh! Oh, good idea! I have an idea! We have Jimmy do it. Because okay. someone has to stay... Like, whoever launches everyone is gonna end up launching me and not be able to come. Oh, so Frankie or... Or, or Frankie oh, Smith or But James isn't here. Oh, he'll, he will be here he'll, next he'll time. He'll be here soon. It's oh, oh, is he is he forever. coming back? I thought he was b gone for the rest I of the session. I do believe he's coming. I do believe he's, he's coming back. But he will be here next time. So that means yeah. that Jimmy okay. would fucking have to climb up the side of a mountain on his own. I, mean, <laughs> I feel like if I feel like if he was here, <laughs> he would probably accept his fate and do it. Um, well, you know Smithy uses a ranged weapon, so Smithy's probably pretty good at aiming stuff. Okay, yeah, you do that. Yeah, so Smithy is, you know, like a master cannoneer, basically. You know, very, he knows how to do that shit, so uh -huh. Smithy will line you all up. He'll put, he'll lower his uh, welder's mask, which now has goggles on it. And this is how you know it's serious time. He goes, go. All right, <laughs> you gotta coordinate perfectly with me. When I say go, you gotta let go. And data, go! Uh, I just launched data. Uh, okay, so I rolled a three. Nice. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so even with all of his pluses, like, Smithy's got a 16 in dex. <laughs> uh, so that's a plus three, and he's level three, like the rest of you, so uh, range attack is favored. So that'll be a six, so it's plus nine, all in all. So that would get it up oh, to a terrible. 12. Um, it, it clears the cliff face, but only just. So it's very much like you get onto the cliff, but like your feet drag along the floor when you hit the cliff. Like you land perfect, but you like skid across. You go, ah! If this was anyone but you, you'd probably have broken ankles. <laughs> <laughs> my, my feet just disperse into wind. <laughs> All right, Captain, your turn. If I go face first into the cliff, you're off the crew. <laughs> uh, okay, pull back extra hard. Look, I will, it's a new weapon. I'm testing. It, it can't possibly be worse. All right, so that so is an I eight. I pull extra hard so that he can't hit the cliff face, but he might overshoot. All right, so I rolled. And just go like way up. Yeah. So I rolled an eight this time. So okay, once again, plus I nine. Context: What just happened? Uh, we are <laughs> catapulting everybody up onto the island, uh, one by one, using the mast, because you decided instead of going to either village, we're going to land in the middle of them, and there's like Where sheer there's a cliff. Yeah, there's cliff faces, so you can't like just climb. Well, you could climb up, but instead we're catapulting everyone up using the mast and Smithy is firing you all up one by one because Smithy knows how to use ranged weapons. Um, Data made it on, and if Data had normal feet, they'd be broken, but it's fine. Um, Merc is going oh. next, and with a 17, yeah, Merc, you, whoo, you, you get up. Um, do you want to roll a tumble or something to I, I was, stick I was for gonna, landing? Like uh, Mikey, like, said to pull back a little bit extra hard, mm -hmm. and you rolled higher, so, like, I would imagine that instead I actually went a little too far and just landed in a pond. Alright, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you landed in, like, a small a water... You, you landed in, like, a, a water hole, and, you know, a bunch of, uh, exotic jungle animals all kind of look I up like and go, I imagine as he's, as he's going, he just goes, Get him up! Yeah, so there's a big oh, splash. More graceful. Um... What are some interesting jungle animals? Um... Piranhas! <laughs> Probes. <laughs> I can talk to fish. Remember that. I'm uh, not sure if piranhas would care all that much. <laughs> well, okay, okay, but it's a bit of a misconception. Piranhas don't just attack anything. They only attack weak things. Mm. Like, if they see and... something's injured, they just go after it. Oh. Huh. Yeah. If, yeah. if something is not hurt, they'll just swim around it like oh. like any other fish. 
It's such a pain. I don't know, like, jungle. I don't know, like, Amazonian jungle. If this was, like, uh, an African thing, I could do that shit. I would shit. say there's, like, there's, there's, there's frogs, frogs on the trees. And jaguars. Yeah. Snakes, frogs, jaguars. Um, yeah. Um, hopefully not that little parasite. Mm. No, not that. So, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you, you see some, like, what, what are things that would be, like, at a watering hole drinking? Like, more herbivore. <laughs> Maybe? Like, oh, like, at a watering hole drinking? Yeah, more like goats, herbivore. Alright, yeah, a bunch of goats. I'll just go. Uh, ah! Are we losing uh, dude, dude. Oh, He's back. What? We, we oh, had a bit back. of a time skipping. That's weird. Alright, so a bunch okay. of goats scream, and half of them faint. Like a, a swan, maybe? <laughs> God. Dakota, look at my, look at my drink. Monster. <laughs> Sloth. Sloth or that, that actually it's sounds stop. Good. It's just lemon juice. lime juice. No, it's good, lemon actually. juice. I was mistaken. Okay. Still. Who wants to get that, fired up nope. next? Me. All right. Zor. Pull it back and launch. <laughs> uh, ooh, and I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to think. Now that I now that I have that shield, I'm gonna try to use it as a sled to kind of slide on my landing. <laughs> Well, I rolled the exact same number, so you are also going to land in the pond. <laughs> um, and me, being the not so serious one, get him off! I mean, if you want to roll something not. with the shield, you know, if you want to roll like um, the tumble is the go to one, if there's a different one you want to roll, uh, we could justify that you aim the shield so much that you hit the water and you skip across the water's edge on the shield. <laughs> I don't know what would be a justified yeah. thing to roll. Uh, that'd be like balance, probably, because you have yeah, to keep I it level. So. Yep. Uh, so if you want to roll that, eleven. Oh. I'm gonna it's say rough. it's a little rough. So what I'm gonna say is it 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 kind of works. As in, you get up, you position the shield, you get it just right, and the shield hits the water and skips. You fall off the shield, land in a watering hole, and the shield <laughs> bounces. Like, it, it doesn't fly off. You don't lose your shield. It, uh, like, embeds itself in a tree. <laughs> yeah, so there's a shield embedded in a tree. You're in the water right hole. Above a goat's, right, right above a goat's head. Yeah, and the goat goes, ah! <laughs> 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 All right, Jimmy, go. Uh, up. Just, sorry, little fella. I, I think Jimmy would have put himself in a bubble. <laughs> Uh, before all of this, another, another eight. I, I am not, I am not kidding here. I have rolled the exact same thing three times in a row. GG watering hole. <laughs> so, bubble <laughs> Jimmy. Well, in that case, this entire water source is We just see it, we see it coming <laughs> flying at us, just... Cap, we might want to get ready to catch that in case he goes, in case it pops on impact. So the bubble, boom. I'm gonna save a bubble like sinks under and then bobs back up, so Jimmy's there. Uh, okay. My turn! And then I climb up on the mast and just like gracefully walk along as if I'm on the <laughs> deck of a ship. Like it's no problem for me to just stand up right on the pole. All right, go! <laughs> I rolled a two. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, with a three, Data just made it on, and his feet would have been screwed. I'm gonna say you hit, like, your chest against the edge of the cliff. Oh, wait. So you Hold bend on. into the cliff. Oh. <laughs> I stab my just... sword. I was gonna I say, was all, all, we, all we hear is what sounds like a deflating balloon just... I was gonna ha I was gonna say Data was gonna throw up like... I mean, you can try and stop this. Just to, like, you know, correct the arc of it. <laughs> that, that would be nice. All right. <laughs> so, Data, how does how's this working? Uh, I was using Gus Friend. Okay. Are you just gonna like yeah. shove him up like an extra five yeah, feet just, or so? Yeah, just yeah. All right. Yeah. So it looks like he's gonna slam in, so only half of his body makes it up. But you just push him up. So he kind of goes, Ugh, and then he's just gonna roll and tumble onto the yep. edge. <laughs> um, you want to roll tumble? Uh, no. Nope. Okay. I just I guess, tumble and roll. I was gonna say, guess because he's bendy, he's literally gonna look like a tumbleweed. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah I guess you can't oh my god. You know, 
the because you bend, you would just like bend over and you just like turn into like a human wheel and just. <laughs> I did like accidentally kick myself in the back of the head. Yeah. The bottom of my foot. <laughs> you're there, and you're gonna go, and you're gonna like hit a tree and go. Oh! Um, there. You're all there. The, the small watering hole has been forever disturbed. The From ghost. Point of view, we, just hear the, we just hear the thud into a tree and the quiet just... <laughs> I take my sword and untie it from the knot that, that occurred when I tumbled around. <laughs> okay. Alright! To Avenger! And then start, like, go, just moving into the jungle. Uh, swatting at plants, you know, as if I have a machete, but they just get bopped out of the way <laughs> instead of actually being chopped. Because it's um, a rapier, well, it has no edge. Well, well, it doesn't have much of an edge, and it ends. Smacked. Are you going yes. east or west? west? I am going into the jungle. Are you going north? <laughs> Probably. Uh, puts, where... his hand on, put, puts a hand on his head, just calm it down there, buddy. Hold on. <laughs> How are you splitting the party? Oh, not again. <laughs> You're taking him. Yay! Why am I? How, how'd this Why? get picked up? Okay. Because okay. I said so, and I'm tired of dealing with it. <laughs> I'm taking the smart ones. You look at the smart ones I think I'm as Jimmy is just bobbing in a bubble. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm just gonna take the bubble and just kind of kick it a little aside. Just kick. He just looks at. So the where are the other two going, Captain? Mm. Right. Setting the bar real high there. <laughs> right. I'm taking Data and Jimmy. We're going east to Ryu. No. Wait, oh, I thought you said the smart yeah. one. Yes. Zor and and Mikey, you guys are heading west to Naga. Alrighty. He's not even smart. He's just good at convincing people that he is. <laughs> okay. Um. Onward, and then he reach up and grab like a banana off a tree. Does anybody have a compass? <laughs> uh, actually, I I, I do. That's is amongst my gear. Like my my starting gear is navigation your head, And your body is just walking as it's just kind of bending you out of my grip. Just thong. <laughs> well, no, I just reach up and grab your fingers and bend them backwards. <laughs> Good. Creepy. Don't do that. I have a lot of, uh, like, actual doctoring gear, but I don't have a compass now. No, I, I hold out a compass. compass and I <laughs> say, okay, which way are we going? Alright. So... Eight sets of handcuffs, though. <laughs> that, that, that way. <laughs> okay, we're going that way. Here! And then I toss my compass to the captain. You can have that. Oh, I'll remember which way we're going. Okay! <laughs> Let's go! Uh, uh, I guess we'll see y'all later. Have <laughs> fun. Wait, where are we I should going? probably keep up with him before he gets lost. Yep. Yep, do that. <laughs> and I'm just going around, picking up everything like, that looks edible. I'm gonna lean down and be like, Hey, uh, Maggie, do you actually know exactly which way you're still going, even without the compass? That way. Right. Uh, do you want to roll survival? Or do you just want to be yeah. right? Uh, no, I want to roll. Roll me a survival. <laughs> Let me check if I have that. I highly doubt it. Oh no, Nick! What have you done to me? No pirates should have survival. Uh, nope. I mean, oh. there's but other he's... options. You could use like something like that gather info, be... or um, no, gather information is for talking to people. Yeah, gather information is literally people. like talking to people, like you know, standing in a bar and go, "Hey, do you know where such and such is?" Oh. I have to imagine. No, no, honestly, I can imagine him asking the animals where to go. <laughs> How about instead, I will have Zoran boost me up onto one of the trees, and I'll just look above the jungle for the place you I'm know, going. That, that, that's a good point. 
Do okay. you want me to just throw you while you're not bendy, or do you want me to kind of use you as like a freaking boomerang and just kind of boomerang you up? I'll just climb on your shoulders. Is that going to be tall enough? Uh, yeah. Probably. Probably. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm, I'm 15 feet, so... Do you want to... those trees. Yeah, how tall are these trees? I don't know. Jungle trees can vary in height, you know, some up to being like a couple hundred feet. I'll see you can find some smallish ones, which are like 30 feet tall. Easily. Cool. Then, I will take a rope and chuck the rope onto the top of that tree. Mm-hmm. And pull the top of the tree down <laughs> and hand it to Zorin. That's how we get on the big tree! Oh, no. And I jump on it, and then I, like, smack him in the face to make him let go of the rope. <laughs> Come on! Um, tree! Thor, make a ranged attack. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing in that. So what the hell would I take? Would I technically be negatives? Um. No. You should have. Something. What's your deck? I don't have ranged Okay, um, so let's... Range attack is a primary skill. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have it. Okay, so you'll range attack... Like two points in it. You use either dex or whiz. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> What's your best one? <laughs> a negative one. Okay, so that's a total of a roll of... Yeah, so just roll a d20 minus one. No, no, with, no, with, no, no, no. With, 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 with plus. the plus two, it would be literally be one. Yeah. Plus one. Yeah, oh, that's good enough. That's actually... 16, it's yeah. Better. I mean, it's good enough that I can fix it midair, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, how high are you aiming to go with this? Uh, just a taller tree nearby. All right. Um, we'll Question, say... You said you, you hit me in the face. Do you mean you, like, just slightly tap me, or do you mean you actually, like, smack the shit out of me to get me to let go? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, like, pat you, like, to, like, shock you into letting go of the, of the rope. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't seem like it actually worked, and then you just... Set me. All right, yeah. Well, we'll say you can launch yourself up to you know a fifty foot tree. Sweet. Now I'm up there, and I would like to uh, try and spot. All right, roll me a spot check. Eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, getting a good look around. Uh, you've got a decent vantage point. Um, obviously there's a lot of trees, so it's hard. But you, you know. You, you don't have a compass, so you don't know directions. In one direction, uh, you can make out uh, you know, very, very thick jungle and kind of a good way into jungle. You can see there's like quite a large clearing. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that. You can't really make out what's inside that clearing, but you know, oh, hey, there's a clearing in the jungle up that way. So that's something to maybe check out. Mm -hmm. um, you can look one way. If you kind of follow... It's not a shoreline, but like the cliff edge. Uh, eventually, that seems to lead to a village of sorts. Like you can see, like activity and like smoke and like. Oh, wouldn't I know which way I'm not supposed to go? At least, like, I know generally the captain went kind of ish that way. Yeah, and if you look in the direction that the captain went, you can see further away. There's another oh, okay. village in that way. So you go. Oh, okay, so that's the captain's way. That's my way. Also, there's stuff in the jungle to go look at, maybe. Hey! Hey, Zorn! Mm. There's a clearing in the jungle! That way! Y'all check it out. Is it kind of like, kind of on the way to the village? Uh, it is... The, the village is basically, like, from where you are, the village is, like, slightly northwest. Like... Mm -hmm. Probably uh, west northwest, and okay. the clearing is due north, so they are totally okay. different directions. How far apart ish are they? Are like a uh, long ways from each other? A pretty decent way. Like you could get to both in one day, probably. But, okay, but it would waste like several hours. Yeah, you'd probably lose half a day. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Village is that way though. Okay. Are uh, you going to hop down, or are you just going to take the tree route? Mm, I will hop down. Okay. So one, like, branch at a time, I will drop down 
and then hop to another branch, and then hop to another branch. All right, cool. Yep, so you definitely know your direction, you know where you're going, and if you ever need to, you can quickly scamper up and double check. So you're going to head back. It'll take you maybe like an hour from where you are. Cool. Uh, Merc, Data, and the absent Jimmy. You've got the compass. You, you can just go. <laughs> you can we're, just... We're, we're going. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, I'm like silently worrying that my I sent the two idiots and they're probably going to die in the jungle. All right. So uh, an hour. It takes about an hour. Uh, we will start with Merc and Data. Yeah, we've got enough time. I'm going to introduce these two village settings and then we'll have to wrap up and just keep an eye on time. All right. So Merc, Data, Jimmy, uh, as you... Uh, get closer. Uh, you can hear you can hear lots of loud noises. Uh, specifically, you can hear what sound to be like small explosions. Um, in fact, what kind of role would it be to identify a sound? Listen. Yeah. yeah. If you want to roll listen checks. Nat 20. Uh, nat 20. And a 7. And a 2. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Merc. They really do be like that sometimes. You recognize these sounds. Uh, these are fireworks. Uh, of all kinds and variety. If you look up, you even see fireworks going off. It's like a big celebratory thing. Um, if you get closer, you find this village. It has a very like traditional uh, Chinese-style aesthetic. So, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? You know, very much like, I don't, I don't want to say like stereotypical, but you know, very uh, Chinese inspired uh, aesthetic. Um, you know, so that kind of like slated rooftops and it's very ornate. Uh, there's a large gate uh, at the entranceway. Uh, and you see uh, there, there's lots of paper lanterns that are lit you see a what appears to be a large dragon uh shaped thing like being weaved down the street uh it basically looks like, like they're doing a you know a chinese new year celebration and it's really like it's very excited very and the the image of like the the, the standard like chinese dragon uh uh, that is being displayed everywhere. It's it's a everywhere. big deal. All right, cool. I like that. How do you proceed? What even are we doing here? I don't fucking remember. Um, the the information like, we you came here for something. We came here to was... gather information. Right. Well, that's a mixture of things. You came here to get stronger, to do that. Maybe gather more resources. Uh, basically, just we know Vice Admiral Hotpot is out there, and we want to make sure we are strong and capable when we can come across him. That's right. Okay. Grinding, basically. Yeah, grinding. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess we're gonna chill, hang out, watch for any delinquents of any kind, whether they be professional or otherwise. Okay. So, um, data, you have a better option. Or you have an agenda. Or you could be silent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, they're in the middle of a festival. I suppose now would be an excellent time to gather information. Well, how, how do you suggest going about that, then? Because uh, you can't just say, I would like to gather information. Actually, that it, you can. That's specifically what gather information skill is for. <laughs> I mean, you can. But that's not, that's not very fun or 
<laughs> yeah, um, I'm trying. I'm saying this in character. David How would Blank, you? Uh, uh, I suppose let's party. So you just kind of walk him as this big celebration. You're going, all right. I'm down to party. Uh, are you wearing marine outfits? Are you very notif like noticeably marine? Uh, I mean, I mean, me and Data. I know we wear the jacket. Yeah. Mine That's is sleeveless. Me. Mine is sleeveless because they don't make six armed <laughs> jackets. So I just tore off the sleeves and put all my arms through they the one hole. Actually do. Shut up. <laughs> In fact. <laughs> All right. So I forgot. If you're if you're there, you're kind of looking around. Obviously, big celebration, yada yada yada. Uh, one thing you do notice is if you're very clearly, like noticeably marine, um, people do seem to give like a little nod to you, like a little oh okay. Um, one uh, person. Uh, we'll we'll design this character later. We'll have a full setup for them next time. But they kind of come up and like, oh, will you expect? Is is that supposed to be a uh, a trade today? Is it? If there is, we didn't. We, there, there's a no mistake. Oh, yeah. What for? Yeah. Are you, are you new? Are, are you new people? Oh, we're not. Oh. Right, there's a marine island on this base, isn't there? Yeah, uh... Or a marine we, based on this island. We're, we're different. We're we're a different sex, section. Handles completely different operations. Oh. Okay. That, that explain why... Yeah. Um, you know, like, uh, one, once a week, uh, they come down, they collect a shipment uh, of weapons, and they, they take it up to trade at the port, and they give us money and supplies and stuff. Oh. But, yeah, you know, it's obviously not today, because today's Celebration Day. Real day. Speaking of which, I was going to ask about that. Uh, I'm unfamiliar. Are there any, are there any street vendors? That Hell yeah, there is. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. buying food. I'm buying street food. There, there's amazing awesome. noodles. There's... Uh, it, it, it's very Chinese-inspired, so there's amazing noodles. There's, like, uh, dumplings. There, there's everything. And it's all amazingly You know made. that I'm all about, like, the meat on a stick stuff? Like, just it's just uh, a skewer yeah. with, like, a chunk of meat. Oh, hell yeah. Like, it's called a shish kebab? No, no, that's, no, 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 that's, no, no, that's that Arabic. Is... That's Arabic stuff, a shish kebab. Like, or um, middle, Mediterranean, rather. But, like, it's just, like, glazed meat yeah, on a Yeah, I know exactly skewer. what you're talking about. But... I know what you mean, I can't think of a name Because it's not teriyaki... I know that because it's Japanese stuff, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Getting yeah. plenty of that, getting plenty of dumplings, and then uh, one, uh, and then one arm has a bowl of noodles. Nice. Multiple <clears throat> arms equals multiple food stalls. Uh, so the, this person who I'm assuming is talking and then you round you, you notice as Marine they give you this stuff for free, so you don't need to worry about paying for it. Oh. I mean, I like I offer to. Pay and there we go. Confused why they don't. There we go. Oh no no no! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You know you're you're here. You're doing a great job. You're stopping the the. You make sure those naga. You make sure they don't come and mess with us. Uh, that's good. You know you keep the peace. It's good. You know. Getting some food, but we're already cooked. It's not a big deal. Whatever. Like, uh, oh yeah. Uh, since we're new to these parts, uh, I was wondering, what exactly did uh. Do. They know what they did. We know what they did. Can't forgive it. But cool. you, so you yeah, know, so but you like, won't tell us. Run it by me. Oh, we've just hated each other forever. So you don't know what they did. They we. They have you. Per, you in particular. You we have, well, we don't like them because we don't like them. Yeah, they, they lay traps. They written in like the town charter or something. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Who is uh, in charge of this? Uh. Have any elders? Any lore keepers? Yeah. Uh, that will be undesigned NPC. <laughs> uh, we can meet him next time. 
In fact, we can start next session by meeting undesigned NPC. How does that sound? Powerful voice in the sky. That sounds great. <laughs> I wonder what my my uh, crewmen are doing on the other I'm side of the island. Gonna translate undesigned NPC into Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll be his name. Undesigned in Chinese. Okay. So, meanwhile, uh, on the other side of the island, you arrive at uh, Naga Village. Uh, in contrast, Naga Village, I'm going to say, has got a much more Indian aesthetic. So, um. And Is the ruins in the middle are gonna have a Tibetan aesthetic or something? Maybe. I didn't plan that, but I might do now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see, there's images of a serpent, of a snake. There, there's lots of celebration to do with serpents and snakes. You know, there's snake charmers. There, there's all this. It's very snaky. <laughs> that that's the whole vibe going on here. So Zor, Chum. You find yourself in a place where everyone seems to be celebrating snake time. Uh, same thing, there's street vendors, it's a big celebration. So there's Dragon Day and Snake Day. So I'm yeah. about to say something in character that sounds like to. nonsense, but it is actually true in real life, which is he says, Oh! Snakes are almost like fish! Oh my God. Do you guys have any snake food? Um, All you think about is fish. The first person you look at goes, we don't, we don't eat the snakes. The snakes uh, are a really important deal to us. Oh. And you know what? I'm just going to change the lore a little bit because I've just realized now. I was trying to think, oh, what could I associate with snakes? And for some reason I thought of rope and I didn't think of fucking poisons. <laughs> so no, Naga is renowned for poisons. That's what they're renowned for. Cool. Now, <laughs> now, now I, I understand how there's a conflict. Yeah. See, in my mind, I was going, all right, so explosions, fire, yeah, that's warfare, dragon. Internal warfare. And I was going like, snakes, I don't know, oh, trapping, Ooh, I didn't also, think of poison. So no. Undesigned, undesigned <laughs> character name. Undesigned well, and not necessarily just poison, but I believe there are some that are more of like a paralyzing type as well. Well, you know, poisons, you know, we're just going to use a generic D&D term, which can do like all kinds of stuff. It can be paralyzing, it can be blinding, it can be this, that, and the other. You know, it's like... Just just I think someone's going to get a new sword here. Weijing. Weijing? Weijing. Which is, yeah. It's okay. Weijing and then, yeah, which honestly sounds like a pretty good name. Alright, we'll, we'll design Weijing next time, which then kind of undoes. Because I'm thinking of the, probably because I'm thinking of the goddess Jingwei. Hmm. <laughs> she, oh, I hate her. Oh, she's, she is such a pain. I don't know what <laughs> we're talking about. Light. Oh, it's okay. in Smite, Jinwei is a playable god, and she is the most annoying little shit. Think, think a... Don't, d it's not like, important. Not important. 14 year old girl. Not important. Um, That's how bad it is. So okay. do you guys have any food? Uh, do you have fish? Or fruit? Uh, yeah, we've got loads of fruit. We have, we've got mangoes, Sweet. we've got, we've got, you know, we've got all this amazing, wonderful, beautiful, amazing fruit. You know, come. Awesome. Uh, I am a friendly pie marine. Huh. Well, uh, pie marine. A pie marine? Pie marine? You know, speaking of which, we have pies. Do you want some pie? Oh, great. Yeah, we got some wonderful fruit pies. Yeah. I'm yeah. literally just going to be standing behind her with my head in my hand going, what am I getting this? Yeah. Just enjoy, just enjoy <laughs> the food. See, it is a really, it's a really great thing. That you marines are here. I know you not you don't normally come here. Uh, we shouldn't come here on this day. You know this is our celebrate. This is our celebration day of the week. Um, but you know there, there's been some rum. Day of the week. They do this every week. Yes. Awesome. Oh, wow. Because that way it doesn't seem contrived that you arrived just as a celebration going on. <laughs> no, some... that works. I we see. could also say they just do it monthly. Oh, it's a weekly celebration. You know, it, it's like the equivalent of going to church on a Sunday. That's what this is the equivalent yeah. of. Also, yeah, if you've ever seen sense. like the like Levitical laws of all the celebrations they had, they were celebrating all of the time. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's one guy. He's he, he's talking to you, and he's like, you know, obviously we can't go and check it out because you know we couldn't start anything. But there has been some, some rumblings, some some ongoings in the 
in, in the jungle, and I think it is those horrible Ryus. Uh, the, I know they've got Ryu Day and all that, but I reckon they'd be sneaky enough to try something. Uh, they might be, they might be planning mm. an attack. Mm. Mm, that's not bad. Yeah. Do you have a direction these attacks were coming from? Or these sounds you were hearing were coming from? Um, well, I've not been out there, you know. This is... I, I'm, I'm just suspicious. Because the other day, when I was out in the jungle, you know, gathering the, these fruits and such, definitely heard some people. I didn't know them, so they can't be from my village. So gotta be Ryu's. I heard some people they were talking about they're going to wait till everyone's distracted tomorrow and then we're going to get on and uh, sort everything out. And we know, you know what that means. Sort everything out means destroy our village. Oh. That's the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we going to do anything about that? Just look at Zorin. I think this needs more looking into before we just assume there's going to be an all-out attack. Oh, okay. Well, we'll uh, we're around, right? So we can help right. if you need it. Hey, did you see that clearing that's out in the jungle? What's that? Oh, we don't go there. Uh, 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 we're not allowed there. What? what is it? Um, well, one, it's super dangerous. Uh, lots of... Um, there's lots of jungle animals, there's jaguars and all that, so it's super dangerous. So, you know, normal, regular, everyday Joe like me, probably not a good idea for me to go out there. Also, it's sacred ground. Uh, to, to you guys? Uh, to everybody. Oh, okay. Do the Marines care? Like, at the base? I mean, I don't know. I don't go there, so Marines could be there. I don't know. It shouldn't be there. We very specifically said, hey, please don't go on our sacred ground. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think they'd go there. But... Oh, so you're not from a base? I, uh, no. We're Actually. not from the base. Oh, why, okay. Why is... Quick note, Zor. Why the hell is the newbie doing all of the talking? <laughs> <laughs> I was... He likes talking to people. Yeah, to be fair, he's very vocal. Like, he says his words before I can get in twice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, final things. Got, for... his, his his mentality is as is as spree as is as like I guess bouncy as his step. <laughs> All right. Uh, that final a total compliment. <laughs> final scenes for today's session. Uh, obviously Naga Village. You now have information about something going on up in the jungle. Real Village. You you wanted to learn why these two places hate each other. That's basically the gist of it, right? Yep. Yep. Cool. And also, I'm eating plenty of street food because I'm tired of ship food. Yeah. Same. And Jimmy is there. And every yeah, once in a while, a villager has to tell Chum to not drink a bottle of poison. <laughs> this time, we will find pirates. He's like, what's this, orange juice? <laughs> no. I feel like every once in a while, we're, every once in a while, I'm having to kind of... find pirates. We found pirates once... And never again. We've got <laughs> like Marines since then. Look, the uh, thing me? is, I had to rewrite this. I say rewrite. I had to rethink this like three times today's session because every time I thought I had a plan, you went, we do something different. I'm like, fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, you mean like the whole the whole thing with the hot buy situation? Yeah. So <laughs> what was originally going to happen is whatever village you went to, there was going to be pirates at the other village, and they'd take an over. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but no! We're going to both villages. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to wrap up today's session there. Uh, I've been the Bardic Knock. You can find me on the internet, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and YouTube, all as the Bardic Knock. It's it's more of this, really. Um, All I know is the more we keep doing this, eventually you're just gonna throw a whole yeah. armada. One at piece us. rules are one piece rules go as such. <laughs> Always split the party at every island. Yep. Where the fuck? 
And then you but run hey, that no, every Marty, time. if you really want pirates to take over one of the towns, you can have them show up at the town that uh, Dakota and I are at and just be overwhelming. And we'll have to... We have to run. Yeah, we'd have to run away. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I kind of didn't want to get fair, too if, heavy if into happened, anything. I would have to literally run. You would probably just catapult yourself way to the jungle. We'd have to go find you. I didn't want to get, like, <laughs> too heavy into anything this session, because I kind of like, ooh, time. So, before next session, I'll have actually time to sit and plan and figure out, ooh, how can I make this interesting, and I should design a villain, and yada, yada, yada. And then we'll like derail a... it as quick as possible. Exactly. Yeah, because as soon as the pirates show up, instead of running, I'll be like, hey, friends! <laughs> okay. Uh, do your sign-outs. And then we'll we'll wrap all this stuff all right. up. I said well, me. Go. I I I am next. Uh, I am Nick. I am Strider Winters on practically every form on, or every platform on the internet except for Twitter, where I am the Caius Rotor. Uh, you can find me pretty much here. Like I am on Bardic's channel more than anywhere else anymore. Yeah. Uh, except for alternating Saturdays with this game, you can find me also on uh, a Random Raccoons channel along with Bardic. And Rin uh, for Tales Under a Starless Sky, which is a fun D&D 5th edition campaign that we all enjoy. Yes. Um, Alright, that's my turn. Uh, I have Shogun. Uh, I'm playing as Chum. That's it. <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy isn't here. Jimmy had to head off and do family <laughs> things. But you can find Jimmy on the internet at Omen. Just wibble, 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 wibble. Two, it's Omen two six four. Pretty much yeah. anywhere, anywhere. That everywhere. is it. I was just checking. Out the right everything. thing on that. So that is Jimmy. Now Dakota can go before uh, Rin. Yeah, yeah. You always skip me. I swear. Is, is this the new thing? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh. Just, just making sure. <laughs> uh. Well. Yeah. I'm Dakota playing Zoran. Pretty much White Wolf or White Wolf 462 anywhere. Yeah, that's Wait. about it. Radio Shack. Oh, Radio Shack, man. You, you keep doing his intro or an outro for him. <laughs> you just say, Rin, go, and then Rin says, I'm at Radio Shack. But if you say Radio Shack, Rin, then he's in, he has no yeah, intro or outro. It's over. Done. Well, I, guess I, have to, I guess I have to move out of Radio Shack. Means dead. Um, let's see. Hold on. I, I just called Whole Foods. Foods. I, I know. Man. I'm at Kmart. There we go. There go. <laughs> we still have one of those. Wow. wow. Certain states do. Before yeah, we get entirely happened. wrapped up in a tangent, I'm gonna end the stream. Uh, thank you for being around, everybody. Uh, until next time, stay safe and Bye. happy adventures. Bye. Bye. -bye.